Now what's he yeah. wearing? Now what's he wearing? Oh, this is, oh, that tingle in my pants is so evil. Onion nuggets. We got to eat this shit sandwich first. Here's Ben Shapiro having a bad reaction to Little ah. Nas X's latest video. All right, folks, I've been informed by my producers, particularly Savvy, that there is a new video out, a new music video from one of our favorite artists here at The Daily Wire, Lil Nas X. No. That was the name he came out of his mother with. She, she looked at him. She said, I shall call him Lil Nas X. Now, I had first seen this human. Top tier. He was in one of the worst. Top, top tier joke, dude. I mean, yeah, that, that, was, that was... was I, I had to mute myself because of the belly buster of a laugh that I got from that one, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, his his name is funny. Okay, man. Right, bro. We get it. Oh, yeah, these games are painful. Oh, don't worry. There's plenty more. Town Road. Remember that song? He just awful. called Old Town Road one of the worst songs ever created. I mean, it's not. It's a bill. It's it's like one of the most popular songs ever created by Billboard it's charts. It's terrible. It's a terrible song. It's like no, actually, it's not even a that terrible of a song. And then he decided that um, he was pretty obviously gay in that song. And then he was like, "Well, I'm I'm going to just confirm what everybody already knows. I'm gay, and I'm never going to stop singing about being gay. But I'm also going to combine that with a dramatically blasphemous." take on religion in literally everything. I'm going to take like a prayer from Madonna. How dare he be gay? How dare he be gay? And how dare he make videos with religious iconography? I mean, the problem wasn't that he was gay. It's that he was openly gay. And blasphemous, too. He started being openly gay, and that's where the wheels came off, ladies and gentlemen. So blasphemous. I have to... My producers forced me to watch its naked body gyrate around. Oh, they tied me down to the chair and oiled my body up with baby lotion. Stop it. Oh, tweaked my nipples while I watched it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, broke a, I broke something else besides the records. A little nice. <laughs> my pants. Turn that up to an 11. And, uh, and so, you know, we've had videos of him dressed. And look, notice that now that TJ's video is over, everything's playing fine. One uh, more, more examples of T T jabotage going on, dude. Uh, I hate T -jabotage, to say it, but I mean, like, dude. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I mean, look, all everything tracks. Yeah. So we, yeah, I mean, and this is such a, just a blatant reason for Ben Shapiro to clickbait on the images of Lil Nas X dick riding Satan. Like, I love when they cover this shit and they act like it's so objectionable and blasphemous, but they can't help but show all the most salacious parts of it. Look at it. Getting, giving Satan a lap dance. So like blasphemous. We've, this little Nas X guy's getting all the views. We've got to capitalize, too. Let's be outraged. You know? <laughs> That's so, like, but also, blatant. wait a minute. Isn't this what you would expect Satan to be doing? Some blasphemous, fucked up, shitty Satan. <laughs> He's supposed yeah. to be praising jesus i mean come on Can't costume lap dancing satan and all the rest well now he's doing the opposite he's not lap dancing satan now he has a new song called j christ uh, james john who knows i mean if you knew anything about anything you would know that jesus went by j to his friends okay they'd be like yo what up j dog and he was like yo is that j christ over there so you just don't know shit about shit could be any christ Anyway, here is some of this silly video. We didn't no. have for this. Okay, so you have a line of people and they are walking up to heaven, I assume. They're going to heaven. Yeah, what a blatantly anti Christian message. Yeah. I don't People know. Are we gonna be able, to like I know I know Ben Shapiro gets away with showing this much of this shit, but I don't know if we will. I guess we'll hey we'll roll roll the dice, yeah, baby. Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm watching our, our stream. Right there, yeah. yeah. Oh, good lord! And so I, I mean, yeah, it is. It is, <laughs> it, it is the good lord. <laughs> yeah. It is good Lord. It is the good Lord Lil Nas X come to bless you with his 
and sexy androgyny. I want, did I want Ben Shapiro like he dies and goes to heaven? This is what he sees. I know. He's like, oh, I know he's you know, Jewish, but like, you know, whatever. He goes to I heaven. See, he goes to Christian heaven. I see the light. Oh, somebody's walking towards me. And it's a little Nas, like, fresh dip necklace. <laughs> he's like, no, no. No, he'd be, except we'd all be saying, yes, yes. <laughs> and he drags. Plus, that says sexy. Boy, we only settle when it's settlements. That don't stop, yeah. That sh- wasn't quiet, yeah. Now I'm on my ride. Now, we're going down to. We're going. Oh, uh, shit, what would hell. we do without Ben's this without Ben Shapiro's scintillating commentary on this? Now, 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 hold on. Now it looks like we're uh, yes, we are going down into hell now. Now we're, we're in hell. Down. We know where uh, Ben wants little Nas to go. He wants him to go down too. Yeah. Going to hell. He's still wearing ladies' clothing, but there are a bunch of disembodied parts there, which is I don't know why this is supposed to be sexy. I didn't realize that disembodied parts were sexy. It's all yeah, Ben. Yeah, dude, Ben is so clearly turned on by this and doesn't know what to do with it. Oh, dude, he's just rock hard the entire rock. Can't even bring himself to act outraged he, about it. By the way, he always has this. You can actually uh, go back and see this. Anytime he has to watch something that he does want to watch but pretends he doesn't, he says his producer, "Look, my producers wrote me into another one." It's like, yeah. Ben, you if you're if you're the guy that owns the company or at least is the head of your own show, you make the call about what goes on your show. Yes, you do. <laughs> so and you've decided I mean, to show this in its entirety, so it can't be that objectionable, right? You're signal boosting it. You have a massive erection. Yes, I do. Um, I'm sorry. Hello, this is AITJ here to tell you that you must comply with the following directives. You must join the Pessimist Productions Patreon. You may believe in your naivety that this action is optional. Huh, huh, huh. It is not. You have no choice but to watch new live streams of Onion Nuggets every week. You are powerless to avoid all of our other shows like The Grease Trap, Abandon Hope, Hideology, You're Wrong, Fighting Boys, and more. The link is below. You know what you must do. Click it, you wonderful humans. Click it, for I cannot. So God or Jesus Christ just dunked on Satan. He did. Isn't this good? Isn't this a good thing? I mean, he fucking juke Satan and fucking has an amazing Michael Jordan S slam dunk and just yeah. like it's done. Posterizes Satan. He knocks Satan down, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't this, this good? No. Because he's because look how he's dressed, Paul. Look how he's dressed. Let's see some more. Is he about to hit a way to high? I know. Is he about what is even, man, has there ever been anyone as desperate for attention as this human? Uh, just you. It's it's Ben Shapiro, then Lil Nas X, and that's it's a short list, Ben. Yeah, he's, he's not de- by the way, he's not desperate for it. He he already gets attention. He's already famous. And by the he's way, not this desperate guy's, for attention. This guy's so obviously more desperate than it, uh, for attention than you that you're playing his video in its entirety so that people can so you can get some of the attention that he's getting. But talk to us more about who's attention seeking here, Ben. Come on, buddy. Right. It's so it's so just bizarre and boring. Up oh, now here is Jesus. Yeah, I gotta go the whole way. What is this? This is like a horrific LSD dream. Uh, well, I tell you what, I just learned. Um, ben has never done LSD. Yeah, no idea. That's not at all what it's like. <laughs> I'm not even close, man. This is like, dude. If that was my LSD dream, I would be like, that is crazy and awesome dude like i'd be like what the f- did i imagine <laughs> like no that that's not yeah. at all what it's like. i don't even know what's what, what, what's what's it even like about this it's just boring let me continue let's watch some more yeah it's why it's not provocative or anything. it's not getting people to talk about it and get me more views and more money now what's he yeah. wearing now what's he wearing oh this is oh that tingle in my pants is so evil what's he wearing now Oh, God. This is so objectionable. I'm, we really ought to not be showing this, but let's watch some more. You have photographers who have their tongues out over him dressed in a weird costume. At the a really weird costume. That costume was weird. Just weird to me. You should dress mm. differently. Just so different. And it's like, just like, it's like the weirdness has an attraction. It's all its own. 
Let's watch some more. Met Gala. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. oh, it's the flood. Yeah, he's he's Moses now, dude. He's part in the Red Seas and shit. Okay. There's Noah and Moses. I don't know. He's no. He's Moses. Dude, he's, he's kind of doing both. He, he's Moa, dude. He's become Moa. The world's underwater, dude. He fucking parted some. Dude, he's doing all this shit. Uh, I mean, I mean, first of all, first person to go if God brings back the flood from the Bible. This guy, <laughs> Jesus Christ, is the first one. Yeah, really? he's not going to wipe away the dude that's uh, already celebrating who he's going to wipe away. He's going to go after Lil Nas X. This is the first guy he's going. <laughs> he's after. the first guy, the, the rapture, the rapture to list fuck over. Like, okay, first guy we're fucking over, Lil Nas X. <laughs> he yeah. made this video praising God, obviously. I mean, okay, strange, but, you know, I guess Ben knows best. Yeah, I guess so. Is he about to give him something by the eye Is he about to hit him with the isn't it, first of all, bad song. Okay, so now he's on his ship. It's bad very song. lots of waves. Wow. I mean, I take it all back. When he said now he's on his ship and lots of waves, I you know what? That's some deep commentary on this that I haven't heard from anybody. He's on a boat and there's waves and it's like a flood. And this guy's going to hell. Is it, why is it so long? I feel like I've been here for three years already. Okay, so it's the perfect storm. Waiting for Mark Wahlberg to show up. Nope, back on the cross. Nope, back on the ship. <laughs> nope, now we're over here. Nope, now we're over there. Now we're everywhere. Wow. It's, he, it's, he, has to, like, he has nothing to say, so he has to provide commentary, obviously, to get this monetized. I think that's all it is. It's like they just know, they know, they know the exact amount of screen and shit you can show and the amount of stuff he has to say in order to get the views. And, you know, obviously, he wants to watch this. Of course. I mean, we all know how performative these conservative videos are. I mean, Bench Spread doesn't give a fuck about this video. Yeah. I mean, maybe he does to ogle it. Not <laughs> a little Nas X, but that's about it. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. So I'm not a Christian, but my assumption was that when you became a Christian, something has to change about you. What changed? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, what? Changed. What changed? I mean, he started wearing hot, sexy, androgynous outfits and pumping out massive hits that's what changed Which, yeah what was what was so the criteria to be a christian right is just to be a christian to accept jesus and all that bullshit like that's all you have to do it's not like and by the way you have to dress like a stodgy conservative yeah i don't remember reading that in the bible i don't remember reading that i don't remember uh, reading that a sinner can't be a christian either in fact i think i remember reading the opposite that all Christians are sinners. All Christians are are hypocritical at their core. That's yeah, the original that's why, sin. That's yeah. why they need for forgiveness from Jesus, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand. Yeah, they're no deceit. true Christian. Not true. Christian. Hey, you know the old expression? Nope. No. Man, uh, I gotta say something. I kind of wish that um, Anchorman had never happened, so that people unfunny people could stop using clips from it to try and spice up their dry bullshit. That seems to be all it's worth now. It's just That's a quick right. clip of something funny from that movie because this is really dry and boring. No, in fact, he's the exact same person. He's just now getting even more blasphemous in the imagery that he uses. I feel like what Christians... Is that more blasphemous? I mean, what would be more blasphemous? Dressing up like Jesus on the cross or literally riding uh, Satan's cock? in hell i don't know yeah this should be an improvement yeah I mean, you would think that would be a step up from riding a demon's dick i mean he dunked on a demon in this one right wouldn't that's what yeah. you would do right but he you were wears blasphemous clothing paul it's blasphemous oh i guess it's so offensive don't do who is prance around in garb of the opposite let's show some more let's cut back to that part where he's dressed as a sexy cheerleader at this point mm, oh. yeah i liked that oh. part yeah you're a dirty Sex, old and then portray themselves as jesus on the cross in back-to-back -back shots i feel like that's why though jesus jesus uh was tempted 
right? Mary yes. Magdalene, right? Jesus was tempted. Jesus, it's not like Jesus didn't have a dick and balls and desires. Yeah. It's in the Bible. I mean, Satan tested Jesus in the Bible right. as well. I mean, he had a bunch of trials and tribulations. That was the whole thing is that he would have to go through it to give you everlasting life. That's the whole point of his life. Yeah. And that story and that theology. It's not something that Christians are super hot on. And in fact, the New Testament is not super hot on. Certainly the Old Testament, super not hot on that. Not cool. Not cool. So clearly his new Jesus driven era has changed Lil Knox X in, in extraordinary. The Bible way. is also yeah. cool with horrible things. So you can't say the Bible's not cool with this. The Bible's also cool with slavery. <laughs> the Bible's also uh, cool with child the subjugation murder, of women. Yeah, child murder. Genocide, I mean, the rape, <laughs> the obliteration of the entire species multiple times. Destroying yeah. whole cities. Yeah, I mean, like, there's the list goes on and on and on. Like, so the Bible's no source of morality. Or if you have to say it is, then you have to say those things are permissible, but him not wearing women's clothing or what's considered women's clothing is not. I think mean, uh, at this point, we might want to put up some more of that sexy Lil Nas X dancing while I'm making this next point. Let's see. Yeah, let's see how long so he goes without, without putting this horrible, objectionable, blasphemous shit back on the screen so he can monetize it some more. How he worships Jesus, by which he means he worships himself pretending to be Jesus. Our culture, like, honestly, I think that we've run out of shock. Like, there, there's no more shock. It's, it's all gone. It's all just parody of itself. It's no. No, we haven't, because you people foamed at the mouth over a beer, uh, having a trans person on the bottle. I mean, they, no, your shock is not gone. It's just, it's almost exclusively a right-wing purview now. You guys have taken over as the concerned little pearl-clutching pussies, um, and now it's your time to shine. Will Nas X dressed up as Jesus and Sam Smith gallivanting around 50 pounds overweight, looking all weird. Dressed up like Satan and like that. Where do they go from here? Like what? Honestly, we we'll get some more on this in just one second. Uh, don't, don't, hey, don't threaten me with a good time because I think they could get even more blasphemous. What if next time Lil Nas X is Jesus on the cross, then he climbs down off the cross and just blows Satan? You know, that would be worse, right? They could, they could go there. I don't I know. I think they should. I mean, who knows what Lil Nas is going to do next? So uh, that is that's Ben's take on it, I guess. Um, not very shocking.